All right, here's how you set up the CCPM from bottom up. First things first, unplug the motor so that nothing can start up. Unplugging two is fine. You'll want to be in stunt mode number one or two and set the pitch curve to linear 0 inhibit 50 inhibit 100 in that curve you'll see that your stick adjustments are linear to your stick, adjust stick position so you want 50 you just go to the middle that's the first thing you do you set that to 50 you put all your servo arms on perpendicular to to the vertical, so parallel to the ground. They won't be 90 degrees, so you're going to have to go to your trims. In Futaba, they're called just trims. It's not the normal trims, it's within the menu. And it's a quarter of a, an adjustment each click. In the DX7, it's called the sub trims. So you're going to adjust aileron, elevator, and pitch. And those are these three servos. You adjust them until these arms are perfectly level. Then you don't touch this again. Make sure that's you don't mi mess with that stick. Next thing you want to do is make sure the swash plate is level by adjusting these three arms, control rods, from the servos. So this is all done while these are parallel to the ground. Adjust those three lengths so that these mixing arms are perfectly level with each other and the swash plate is level. I have a leveling tool to do this, but you can just eyeball it. So these mixer arms, they can be too low, too high. You want them right in the middle. And you're going to have to adjust these three arms to get that to happen. It's hard to adjust all three and get that height right and the swash plate level. But since you don't have a swash plate level here, that's what you got to do. So now that the swash plate is perfectly level, these mixer arms are level. You want to adjust these two long arms on the side so that the top mixing arm is level. Right there, it lines up in this ball link, in that pivot point. It's right level right there. Once you have that done, you move one step up higher and adjust these two links, adjust the links until your main blade is at zero degrees pitch. Put the pitch blade or put the pitch gauge on there. Make sure it's perfectly level. So now you've got zero degrees of pitch, perfectly level upper mixing arms, perfectly level level lower mixing arms, and a perfectly level swash plate. And uh, I forgot to mention if the servos don't all go up and down together, then just adjust the aileron elevator or the pitch servos reverse. Now that you've set the three arms to the perfect length and the swash plate is level and the mixing arms are level, you're going to want to go to the top and the bottom and set the max servo travel such that the swash plate is level at the top and the bottom. So travel adjust, you want to set the aileron, pitch, and elevator. On the Futaba, those channels will be different, but it's easy enough to figure out. So you, you start from middle, you can do the top, set them so it's level this way, and then set it so it's level this way, bring it to the bottom, set it so it's level this way, level this way, you just have to adjust the pitch of mine is on the back, so if it's too far like this, you just reduce the 
or you'd have to increase travel of the pitch so that it goes like that. If you go to the top and you find that it's like this, you can either reduce these two in the front or extend the one in the back or do a little of both so that it goes the front shorten up and the back extends and you've got a level swatch plate. For the left and right you just need to adjust either one of them or both of them. It's best to do both so that it pivots. And then in the end you've got a level swash plate in the middle, the top, and at the bottom. You don't need to worry about in between, those are two CPM interactions that can never be completely removed. Now you've got to check your these swash fixing. These are all positives, but if it turns the wrong way, like if you pull left on the stick, the swash plate should go left. If it goes right, just make it negative 22 instead of positive. Same thing goes for elevator. Forward, backwards. Backward stick, backward stick, forward stick, forward stick, left. Right. And then the amount that you want it to travel is very little. That's as much as I've got it going. There's a flat spot on the top of the ball. If you get the Teflon to go right up to that, it should be good enough. Your pitch you will want to set to negative 11, positive 11. And you just change this pitch number in the swash mixing until your blades go negative 11 and positive 11. And that's it. That's how you set up your CCPM mechanically and electronically. Your throttle curve. For normal, I set it really high so that you have a high head speed when taking off 90. 98, 100, and 100. Throttle curve for using the wooden blades. I have it 100, 90 in the middle, and 100 on the sides. With carbon fiber blades, I run 100 across. Now, make sure the tail is doing what it has to do. If you pull the tail to the right, the slider should go left. If you pull, push the tail to the left, the slider should go right. Right. You have to set up the gyro again properly. I use the gear channel. You don't have to use the gear channel, but. That's what I do when I set the extremes of the gear channel to positive 61, negative 70. Negative 70 is right hold mode, positive 61 is head hold mode. If you want to reset it, you can flip that channel three times quickly. And now it's reset again. So you slide this way, and move that way, slide to the left, slide to the opposite. That's how you set up a helicopter.